2003 Bentley Arnage R. So if you're not aware of the model variations on the Arnage, obviously they came out with a green label originally, which was your 4.4 litre uh, BMW derived two, uh, twin turbo V8. Then um, after the takeover of Bentley, by the Volkswagen Group, obviously not wanting to use BMW engines, they introduced the red label, which was a 6.75 single turbo car. Then in 2002, they launched two more variations of that 6.75 litre car. So they had the R and the T. The T was the 500 horsepower sort of sporty version. So it had the stiffer suspension um, and a few other bits and bobs, slightly different interior. Uh, you got the the pack and things like that. Um, but if you've driven one, they were quite firm. And they had the R, which is this car. So that's a 6.75 litre twin turbo car, 400 horsepower, but with the softer, more Bentley-ish ride. Um, personally, that would be my pick of the bunch. Uh, they made just over 1,200 Rs, about 2,500 Ts. So they are quite a bit rarer. Uh, this one was sold new by Bentley Tokyo in Japan. Um, before it was brought back into the UK in 2020. It's actually brought back in by um, Rolls-Royce and Bentley Parts and Service Specialist Flying Spares. So if you're in, if you're aware of the Bentley world, you'll know who those guys are. They kept it with them until the current owner bought it in 2021. It's got a nice history file with it. If you check the description, we'll detail everything about it there. Spec-wise, we've got Laurel Green, which is this lovely non-metallic, Green. It's actually very similar. If you've seen in the news recently that Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth's old Mulsanne is up for sale. It's a very similar colour to that, um, with Cotswold, Connolly Hyde, um, and spruce accents on the inside, which we'll have a look at in a second. Options. It's got the painted mirror caps. Normally, you've got a, a half piece of chrome on here. These are body coloured, which is a nice touch. Painted um, radiator grille, which again for me on the Bentleys versus the Rolls. Got to have that. Automatic headlights, parking sensors, heated seats in the rear. It's got the front as well. And as standard, the rear is always reclined, but it does have heated seats in the rear, which is again, quite unusual. Rear tray tables with bare walnut, which we'll show you in a second. And a few other bits and bobs that we'll point out as we go. More importantly, really fantastic condition, which we'll show you in a second, but it's only done 38,000 miles. It's pretty common um, when you see on Japanese imports, A, They've got no salt over there. B, their, uh, their road standard checks are much stricter than our UK MOT. Um, and obviously the, the mileage tends to be a little bit lower than the UK cars. See plenty of Arnage is well over 100,000. So one under 40 is quite unusual. We'll start by having a good look at the bodywork. Then we'll check the interior out. Then we'll get it fired up. If we start on this driver's side, we look down the side. You can see it's lovely and straight. You've got that body line, just nice and sharp all the way down. It's not full of ripples or filler. There's no marks to really know on that front driver's wing. Lovely and clean inside the arch itself. There's no sign of any corrosion or anything coming through there. A nice set of 19 inch wheels, which are in lovely condition. And we've got matching uh, Pirelli, I think they're P6000s, aren't they? Pirelli tires all the way around. Uh, P0s all the way around. Lovely condition, loads of tread left in those. Perfect tire for the car. And again, a Bentley with cheap tires is never a good sign. So proper Pirellis all around is always good. Lovely and clean going down that wing. And quite often down the bottom here, you can find a bit of corrosion, but there's nothing there at all to worry about. That sill all the way along, nice and straight and tidy. Got one tiny little stone chip at the bottom of the door there, if I'm being really picky. And another one a little bit further up there. Does have a bit of polish in there that makes that look worse, but it is there. Rest that door all nice and tidy. Has been open on something at some point. In fact, that's Polish, ignore that, we'll clean that up. Onto the rear door, one little stone chip just there. Other than that, all good. All the chrome work on this side is lovely and shiny. Around the windows are nice. There's no sign of any pitting or anything in that. Coming up the A-pillar, that's all good. And out the leading edge around the windscreen. Quite often you can get some delamination down the bottom here, but this one, as you can see, is lovely. We'll check the other side as we go. Clear glass on the front. It does have quite dark tints, which again is sort of standard in Japan. You see that on most of the things that come in from Japan, um, but it is film. So you can just peel that off if you don't want it. Personally, I'd take it off. 
green car, clear glass, it's, it's the way forward, isn't it? But being really picky, the laminate has failed on the, on the badge on the back. I think it's happened on pretty much every arnage we've ever had in. There are 20 quid to replace those, that'll want replaced. Just to bring the car up to the, the badge up to the rest of the standard. Rest of the roof, lovely and straight. There's no ripples or dents in that. Nice and tidy all the way along. Coming down this side again, into the arch. And again, you can normally get a bit of corrosion coming through here. But as you can see, this one, lovely and clean all the way around that arch. Normally you get a little bit manifesting down here, but as you can see, really, really good. Another good wheel and Pirelli P0 tire. I'll have another look back up the car from here. Like I say, lovely and straight. Not full of ripples or dents. Coming round on the back, rear bumper and both rear exhausts sit nice and straight and level. Got parking sensors on the back. A couple of little light scuffs in the chrome work there that's from things get lifted in and out of the boot. But all the paintwork on all the corners is nice and tidy. Both tail lights are bright and clear. The rest of that boot lid. All nice and straight, not full of ripples or dents. And again, on the rear screen, you will find some delamination normally on a UK car especially. But this one, as you can see, is all very good. Both corners, there's nothing coming up there at all. Really good. It is tinted on the back again, but like I say, it is film. You can't just pull that out. Coming round on the passenger side, if we look up this side, you can see, same as the other side, lovely and straight. Not full of ripples or dents. Body line's nice and crisp all the way up. No sign of any corrosion, any of the usual spots on the arch on this side. And inside the arch itself, really clean and tidy. Another good Pirelli P0. A nice wheel, all the centre caps, all the badges are good. Really nice and tidy. We do have a couple of little bits of sort of contamination in the paint there. You can't actually see them on the camera. Maybe just see them there when they're catching the light. And the badge on this side, again, it's peeled off, that one's replaced. All the chrome work on this side, all nice and tidy all the way down. And the handles is nice. And then that belt line down the side, that's good as well. No real marks to note on that section. We do have a little scratch just here on the door. Tiny little one, but lovely and tidy on the front door. Still on this side again, all nice and tidy up there. This front wing is good. Again, no sign of any corrosion coming through there. All the way around, nice and tidy. And another good wheel and P0 tire. Like I said, on the other side, we can see there's no delamination coming through on the windscreen there. It's only a couple of little cues that the, the car has been in Japan. A little sticker there, and then a couple of plaques, which we'll show you as we go around. Coming around on the front, and again, front bumper sits nice and straight. Front parking sensors, which is unusual. You very rarely see them with front parking sensors. No real signs of any stone chips on that front bumper at all there. This headlight does have a little bit of steam in it from where we've washed it. It seems to be drying out quite happily. You can see there it's drying out. Um, but it is worth pointing that out. They do have a little vent on the back that probably just wants opening. And then the bonnet itself, nice and straight. You've got a couple of little swirls just here. So maybe you could do with a little bit of a polish on the bonnet if we're being picky. Other than that, all good. The badge on the on the grill is lovely. The grills themselves are all great quite often. These can get a lot of ingrained dirt and start to sort of go milky. But as you can see, that one's very good. It's been parked here a little while. I'm dropping any fluid on the floor or anything like that. Overall, body weight wise, very nice condition. Really good colour, it goes so well with those wheels as well. Moving on to the interior. That's a Cotswold with um, bare, wall, bare walnut and the Sherwood trim. It does have the lambswool overrugs, which quite often you see on the rolls. They're not too common on the Bentleys. It does kind of, if you can get, if you can have a car with lambswool overrugs, you're going to have them on you. The, the, uh, the heel pad on the carpet is good underneath. That one is a little bit worn. It's obviously not had that carpet down for a lot. And then obviously that's the Velcro section as well. Carpet on the bottom of the door card is nice and tidy. Got a Japanese service sticker down there. The remote for the nav. She's got a little holder down there. Nice, neat solution. Door card itself is all nice and tidy. We do have one tiny little crack in the laminate there. There's actually a place in Leicester that can redo these door cups at about 60 quid a piece. That one personally probably doesn't warrant getting changed for me. Um, and again, nice hot climate as much as it protects the metalwork and the underside of the car. Things like that can't happen. Driver's seat, lovely and tidy on the backrest. A little bit of wear on the bolster there. That probably wants a good clean and maybe a little bit of reconnalizing down the bottom there. 
that is me being particularly picky it just shows you how good the rest of the car is lovely and tidy on the drivers on the steering wheel and the dash all the wood on the dash is good as is the dash top now on the later uk cars we got the pop-up sat now from the dash went wrong quite a lot looked terrible it was awful it was pointless the japanese cars got the gauges that were here relocated down the bottom here kind of like a silver serif there like a factory relocation with a factory larger sat now screen there and his stereo hidden behind the the walnut enclosure nice solution i think personally uh, it will need a uk disc obviously just to make it work in the uk but other than that everything seems to work on it if we put the key in the ignition and flip it across one you'll see thirty-eight thousand and change miles lovely low mileage on that all the wood in the center section is nice and tidy the buttons aren't too worn there. there's a little bit of wear on the on the armrest nice and clean in there as well quite often they get full of junk your electric boot button down the bottom here as well we'll press that so we can get to that in a second moving into the back lovely and tidy on the wood on that side door card again lovely and clean all the door shuts are nice and tidy does have the optional walnut picnic trays which are in lovely condition nice touch in there as well we do have the lambs wall to the back underneath there nice and tidy as well under here is good the later cars like these 03 cars onwards have this indentation here so you've got a bit extra rear leg room which is always nice lovely and clean in the back and like i mentioned earlier on we do have heated and reclining seats so you don't normally get the heated seats in the back nice expensive option there set in a cubby all nice and clean headlining in here is lovely obviously not been smoked in or anything like that and it does have the walnut mirrors in the back as well which are another option and that is worth pointing out as well you press the boot button the boot actually comes up quite often on these because of the weight of the boot they'll fail but this one i know has just had brand new rams fitted so you press the button and it does actually spring up which is nice it does have the soft clothes as well which we'll show you in a second there's a couple of the spare mats there which actually go under the carpets the, the wall over rugs but the rest of the carpet there all lovely and tidy you've got the nav unit at the back there if we lift this carpet up under here you've got your starter battery and your auxiliary battery all the chocks all the tools everything there that should be but lovely and clean in the boot there's no sign of anywhere at all shows you how well cared for they've even striped the uh the carpet on the underside we'll check that soft clothes works yeah pulling the boot in closing it properly as it should into the rear passenger side no signs of anywhere at all on that wood no signs of any sort of sun bleaching or anything door card on this good on this side is nice as is the door shut and again lovely and tidy on that back seat and the back of the front seat another good tray table quite often they can crack along here but this one's all good doors all shut lovely as well which is nice nice and tidy along that wood section there and this door card is all good they've even striped the carpet on the sides here maybe someone had too much time on their hands that's proper attention to detail that i like that lovely and clean on the passenger seat and then it's got the extra wood inlays on the seat adjusters as well which is an option nice thick rugs down there and again we've got the carpets underneath which are nice pop that open and see again so like i mentioned earlier on this is the usual uk plaque there's an additional japanese plaque there so there's a couple of little clues here and there that it's a Jap japanese car over a uk car but very very little but again always nice that hasn't seen any salt hasn't seen any horrible british weather when winters and then under the bonnet not a huge amount to see because these bentleys are all enclosed all the way around um, one thing i tend to look at which i know is very sad are all the screws put back in the right place which they are but bear in mind this car was owned by probably the, the biggest and best independent Bentley specialist in the country for me it just shows a little bit of attention to detail sign of ownership but it's the 6.75 litre twin turbo so the 400 horsepower this one was actually driven to us from uh somewhere in yorkshire a couple of sort of three four hours away which is always nice now get it fired up put the key in the right way that will always help fires up on the button ticking over nice and smooth 
shut that down. There's nothing nasty flying out the back. I briefly have dad it down the road because it's any excuse to drive a twin turbo Bentley and I'm into it. Does drive very well, gearbox is nice, pulls properly. No nasty smoke smoke out the back as you can see. We'll check on the dash for any warning lights. Uh, other than a fuel light, I've got no other warning lights or anything on there. Does show that there's fuel down there. It just just ticked on the fuel light. So there you have it. 2003. Bentley Arnage R. You check the description, we'll detail everything we know as far as service history and things like that. Um, I believe it's had a service every year, or four services since it came in the UK. Last one was less than a thousand miles ago. A couple of, cu couple of months ago, I think it was in June or something like that. If you check the description, we'll detail that for you there. Um, if you want to come and see the car it is with us every day, just let us know, get booked in for viewing. Or if you can't get to see it, we can do extra photos, extra videos or answer any questions you have, you just gotta ask. Thank you.